welcome to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel. We're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. And with me tonight, my first guests are from Seroptimus International of Gresham. I have with me June Jacobs, who is the president of the, the Seroptimus, and Sue O'Halloran, who is the uh, chair of the event that we're going to talk about tonight, which is your annual wine tasting auction called El Bistro 2012. Right. And we'll talk about that a little bit more, Sue. But June, um, if we could start out, I'd love to hear a little bit about the Seroptimus, why this organization was founded, maybe a little history on how long it's been around and what it is you do. It's been around for quite a number of years. Uh, Seroptimus International is an organization of business and professional women who work to improve the lives of women and children internationally and locally. And there's probably about 95,000 women wow. in Seroptimus. Uh, in 120 countries and territories. Wow, very worthy and mission, I would say. <laughs> locally, we work to, um, as I said, improve the lives of women and children. Seroptimus means best for women. And that's what we are working to do to provide time and financial aid to help women who are overcoming obstacles, um, whether it's uh, domestic violence or human trafficking. Um, overcome these obstacles to be able to be the sole support of their family and be successful at it and to improve their lives um, through education and training and uh, achieve their dreams and their goals. So how do you do this, June? Do you work with specific other, other specific organizations and partner with them or do you do this on a one-on-one -on -one basis with individuals? How does that work? Well, our organization, uh, Seroptimus International of Gresham, has one main fundraiser in the year, which Sue will talk about in a little bit. And then we also do a few other things, like we sell flowers, um, poinsettias before Christmas, and spring flowers, and we have some other minor fundraisers. And through these fundraisers, we provide women's opportunity awards to women, for instance, um, like in the Transitions and Transiciones program at Mount Hood Community College or who are attending Warner Pacific, but who um, have either been in shelters or in, sh you know, are currently in shelters, they have children uh, to support and they are the sole support of their families. And so we want to provide money to help them to fulfill these dreams of of their education or training. So they're kind of like scholarships or... They or, are, they, but they don't have to solely use them use for, them for, the, for the tuition. However, we'll help them right. with their families to achieve their goal. Right. But we also give scholarships to teenagers in this area. We just recently gave three, uh, one uh, to a Gresham Barlow student, uh, to a Gresham High School student and two to Bar Barlow students um, who are already out in the community volunteering and doing amazing <laughs> things. I mean, it's unbelievable some of the it. things they're doing, <laughs> yeah. you know. So um, we're working to do those kind of things and the scholarships that we just gave out and the awards uh, were 8,500 this year nice. to help these women and the girls. And then um, the money that we raise at the auction will also go to um, fund community grants for nonprofits that we'll talk a little bit more okay. specifically mm -hmm. later about the ones we're doing, but there are a lot of nonprofits throughout East County that we have supported through the years. We also work with the shelters, provide as right. much help as we can. Um, we partner with Snowcap to help them on their auctions sometimes. Um, we've done a lot with Salvation Army mm -hmm. we have through the years. Amazing nonprofits in this area yes. that do a right. tremendous amount of work, and the need is so great right now. It is, and, yeah. that, uh, and I like it that you have that special focus on on women, women and children. Did you say, or women well, and young young women? The internationally, the mission is women and girls, but we. Uh, in SIG, which we call Seroptimus International on Gresham, yes, have expanded it. Is much easier, it. <laughs> we have expanded it to children, so women okay. and children, because we feel, you know, if a woman has children and she's working to support them, you, we just don't want to limit it's it to girls. It's a package deal. Yeah. Uh -huh. they, they Our scholarships really go to the teenage girls for the work that they're doing and the volunteer work, but, but when we're giving out, uh, you know, and doing, uh, providing time and financial aid and everything, um, it's for children too. So explain to me how the, the, um, 
the scholarships you give to the teenagers, you say it's for the work that they're doing. So they they are awarded these scholarships based on on their community volunteer community service. service. Community mm -hmm. service. Okay. That's the emphasis. So That's great. we like to see that they're a dedicated student, but it's not really uh, grade related. It's really what they have given to their community. I like to see that being recognized. That's a great thing. Yeah. I think I think it's really important, mm -hmm. and I, I see that more and more doing this job. How important it is to to raise children to understand right. that volunteering mm -hmm. and giving yes. back to the community yeah. is so important. And so some of the other things um, just in the community that we've um, done are really collecting all kinds of toiletries and things that women who are in shelters might need. And so that's an, kind of an ongoing effort that we do, work with Dress for Success, helping women having the right kind of appearance to go out for job interviews. Um, and then we work with an organization called SAVE, which is uh, Stop uh, a Violent, Abusive Environments. And uh, that we cooperate with other Swaptimus groups in the area. And uh, that also helps to support some of the wider shelters that are in the area. So not only are we right here locally, but really reaching out to make sure that women throughout our region are having the assistance that they need. That's right, right, throughout the whole region. And, and we right now are helping uh, prepare Mother's Day bags. Oh. for save for the shelters oh, that's and right. we just finished doing birthday bags for the children so all the children who are in shelters and this is regionally we all get together and provide all these things so who can be a soar optimist if somebody were out here listening and you know what does it take to become a soar optimist i think an interest actually in doing service for women and for children and to be involved with your community and actually you also get to know other interesting women in your own community but uh, any woman who owns a business or is in some kind of a management position even if it's a sole proprietor mm -hmm. business um, we are, have open doors for all of them and we always invite them to come and have lunch with us. Yes. We meet on every Thursday at noon at the Elks Club there on Division and Kane mm -hmm. in Gresham. And so it's an open invitation. So anybody can come and check it out. Anybody can come and when they come, when they come to visit, we will provide their lunch Very the nice. first time. Very nice. And uh, we have about 10 new members this past year. Oh, so there's good. a lot of interest of, um, and they're younger women. So it's that's good. It's a wide age keep group. It, keep it going. It's, it mm -hmm. has going. to be sustainable. Yeah, so, yeah. right. so how many? About how many members do you have in Gresham? It's about Gresham. forty-two in our that's, organization. That's, that's pretty yeah. good. That's pretty good. And we usually have thirty-five to forty at our luncheons. It's a very it's, active group, isn't it? It is. Yeah. We one of our um, highlights of the year is our awards luncheon, where we give the scholarships and the uh, awards to women and children, and that was last week and. We had over 50 people in the room at the Elks Club, and it's just so heartwarming because these people are introduced and they tell them a little bit about their stories, and um, we present the checks to them, yes. and um, it's, it's bet, just very, it's a great event. Mm -hmm. very heartwarming where do you, where do you event. Have that? That's at the Elks Club. That's at the Elks Club. Mm -hmm. right. You know, it's that affirmation that comes to women from other women that they look at as perhaps successful or have achieved some of their dream and it's that affirmation mm -hmm. besides the dollars which is so meaningful for the women and so we've had yes yeah. and we've had them come back and tell us really great stories of their success so oh, it makes it yeah, worth it doesn't it it does make it worth it so mm -hmm. tell me um, Sue about the auction wine tasting the El Bistro 2012 right. thing that's coming up that sounds like fun it is fun so we are really inviting everyone who it lives anywhere within this whole Gresham greater area to come join us. It is on April 27th and it starts at uh, 5.30 in the evening. So we have wine tasting and the wine tastings come with your ticket. Yeah. So no extra cost for the wine tasting. And then as well, we have bistro food. So if you're tasting wines from Italy, there'll be some bistro food that's related to Italy. Or if you're tasting wines from Argentina, Chile, then might be something that's appropriate to those Wonderful. wines. So that starts the evening off. It uh -huh. is fun. And then we have a couple of fun um, 
games that you know raise a little bit of extra money with cards and heads and tails. I think you provided some pictures um, I did. of some, some of them. So maybe yes. we can take a look at some look of them some from of last year's event. Yes, right? these are from last year. Give the flavor of what's happening right. for the evening. Mm -hmm. And um, then, of course, we have okay, some wonderful There's, there's a picture there. There, there we are. There's, this was the Italian uh, wine tasting table. A couple of our members showing off the wine that's there. So you can see each one of the tables has a variety of about five wines that they can taste. So we have four different stations around the room and you can tell by the smiles yes. <laughs> that it's fun. They, they've tasted it in they, their life. They've tasted it. It's well, good. Any, any, it any, anybody it there, good. if so, they like the wine, they can always buy yes. a full oh, glass. So it's available. Or, oh, oh, okay. So okay, so you have the wine tasting, but you can... Uh -huh, yeah. and then, okay. then you can have uh, glass of wine with your dinner. This is some of the bistro food that that's wonderful. by each one of the uh, always uh, perfect does always perfect catering does mm -hmm. our food, so she does a great job for us each year. And then um, here's some of the items that we had for the oral auction. And do you have a silent and an oral, or is it all? Yes, we have both. Have both. Okay. Uh -huh. Do we have plenty of opportunities for you to find <laughs> just the right <laughs> just gift you for yourself, for. for your home, yes. for your family? So this is a, some of our oral auction. This is one of our other tables. This looks like uh, this one was probably from Spain. Uh. And um, so we um, each year we try to have different kinds of wines. So it becomes a real opportunity to taste wine and learn mm -hmm. a little oh, bit yes. more. So that's from, from all over the world. It from all like. over the world. Mm -hmm. And then you can buy them as well. So uh, I Laurie. mentioned to you about um, the card game. Uh -huh. So here's, uh, this is actually City Councilor Lori Stegman with um, her, um, <laughs> love her costume outfit. on. Yeah, she looks like a, a She's out playing there, card. Yes, That's playing cute. cards. And then uh, a couple of our guests over there to the left of her. But you can see the room is um, has great ambiance. This is a Club Paisano, It's correct? a Club yes. Paisano. And it has those um, wonderful lights across the ceiling and the wood that makes it feel that so warm, cozy. Warm wood, yes. That warm and you have feeling. That beautiful fireplace when you first walk yeah. in. Uh -huh. and that's a great, it's uh -huh. a fun, it's a, it got a lot of ambiance. Doesn't it does. It, yeah. it does, and it, it was does. perfect for our event. Good, yeah. good. So this year, um, besides the silent, of course, we have the oral auction, a couple of game things, and mystery wine pool. So there's a lot of opportunities to uh, spread a little bit of dollars around. But we have some great organizations besides our scholarships that the money is dedicated to this year. So maybe June, you can give an idea of some of what those organizations are doing that we're going sure. to support. We uh, solicit applications from the different nonprofits um, starting in the fall. And um, they submit applications and requests for um, help in, in the form of a grant from Seroptimus. And we received so many worthwhile applications oh, sure. this year. I mean, it's, it's just, really hard to choose. It was very difficult this year. Mm -hmm. And so we ended up, we're supporting four. Wow. And um, they're really worthwhile. They're ones we have worked with before. One of them is the Salvation Army, specifically mm -hmm. though for their summer um, oh, yes. project. They have a great summer They've just program. opened it up to teens recently. They have a great, um, after school program uh -huh. for youth, but yeah. they they are uh, working to make a really good summer program good, good. for uh, mm -hmm. all of them. And so we're going to put some money towards that. Another one is my, uh, my father's house, who also is trying to get a summer program going mm -hmm. because, um, and this will help because they need to have a director and somebody who can um, pull this program together. Um, so many women in the shelters with their children either have a job or they're out looking for a job and there's no one to watch the children. And so my father's house is trying to put together a summer program and we're going to help with that. And then Snowcap uh, is almost entirely out of um, baby food and oh, formula, oh. infant formula. So we're going to help them restock their supplies so they have some of those good, um, good. to give out. And then the fourth one is Mount Hood uh, Legacy Foundation to um, help provide 
money for mammograms for underserved women oh, in East great. County uh, because there's so many women who do not have the funds to get a mammogram and it's a new program and project that uh, the foundation is working on and we want to help them a little bit with that that's as they terrific. get it started. That's, that's a very worthy causes. They are. I'm, I'm glad to see they that. They are. That's and good. the money we raise at the auction will go for those and for the, the scholarships. Wonderful. And we can't say prices on, on community access television, but tell <laughs> us if people are interested in getting tickets, what do they need to do? Mm -hmm. They need to go to, well, they, they can go to our website, which is www.sigresham.org. Okay. Mm -hmm. And on there, we are now linked up to PayPal. They can fill out a registration form, and um, oh, wow. all the information about El Bistro would be on there. Uh, including who our sponsors are this year mm -hmm. and what are some of the things that are going to happen, the timing and um, all the details. All the details. And it also at the bottom of our home page has an email address for SIG and a phone number uh, and a, a P.O. box if anybody wants to try mm -hmm. and communicate that okay. way too. But we, we could give a phone number if that's helpful sure. for those who may not want to take the time to go online. So they can call 503-780-4814. That's actually my cell phone and uh, I hope I can answer any questions someone might have. <laughs> very generous of you. <laughs> Put yourself Glad on to get them uh, an invitation direct or help them to you learn more about what we're doing, uh, but particularly we're really looking forward to a great uh, evening. This year we're using a professional auctioneer okay. who actually has a lot of roots in our area here, oh, David nice. Douglas High School graduate, good. so um, we think that will add to the evening. So got some wonderful things that people can make uh, choices mm -hmm. up. Wow. Well, we're, you know, we're almost out of time. This is sounding really, really fast, and I'm amazed. Um, just tell me real quick, what are a couple of the things that will be auctioned off? Do you know some of those things? Well, we have actually an interesting, if they'd like. Um, you can have a choice between a fishing trip on the Deschutes River, or if you're not a fisherman, you can have your choice then of going on a rafting excursion on this Ooh, Deschutes River. That's, that's what I want to so. do. Ooh, fun. <laughs> that sounds that's like fun, doesn't it? That's, that's fun. Of course, we've got some beach trips. Wonderful. Uh, yes. Some wine tour. And, oh, I like you that, know, too. Of course okay. That. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you, June and Sue, very much for being on thank here tonight you. telling us about the LB Joe 2012. Sounds like it's going to be a great event. It will be a great event. Great. Thank and it's you. for a good cause. Yes, yes. You're, you're welcome. Thanks for watching this segment of Community Hotline. Don't forget, if you want to find out more about LB Joe 2012 or just about Sir Optimus International of Gresham in general, you can go to their website and then the address should be on your screen. And don't go away. We'll be right back with Loaves and Fishes. <laughs>